Hey there, how are you doing? Team Nokia Power User here and we welcome you all to the hands-on impressions video of the build 14393.351. The latest anniversary update cumulative update build that Microsoft has pushed to Windows insiders in release previewing. The build may not be released finally to non-insiders but uh, the fixes and improvement that it brings with itself over the last build uh, 14393.321 uh, will be tested thoroughly. And with the help of insiders feedback, Microsoft may include those bugs and fixtures in the final build that will be released on probably November 9 to non-insiders. So we will just run, the, run through the build and we will uh, share our installation experience. We will also demo, demo how the multitasking or the performance uh, looks like on this build. We will also talk about uh, what kind of issues or bugs we have seen or not seen. So in a nutshell, we will share everything that we have like uh, experienced with the build till now. So let's begin with the installation experience. The installation experience with the build 14393.351 has been uh, smooth uh, to say the least. So we did not uh, did not encounter any issues. So uh, if you talk about how much time did it take for the installation and update. So it took around 40 to 45 minutes for the entire process to happen. So uh, from installation to, uh, to, to the data migration and finally the device getting up and ready. It took around 45 minutes for us. So uh, coming to how the build behaves, it has been very, very smooth. Even the builds before this, so like uh, 14393.321. Uh, we have uh, shared our impressions of that build and it has been quite smooth, quite good. So, I mean, this build will build up on that because it will fix the issues with that build. So, in that sense, the build is very, very smooth, it's rock solid. We have not seen any, uh, you know, like uh, major bugs or issues, any random reboots, any crashings, etc. Most of the things, if you talk about the native apps, they really work fine. Without any issues, we have not seen, uh, I mean, any such kind of major deal breaker kind of issue happening anywhere. So, uh, apart from them, if we talk about uh, things like multitasking, it, it has been quite good. Very, uh, I mean, you see the app to app multitasking, it has been very smooth. So, we will just demo it. So let's check the browsing part. Let's check how the browser behaves. And if you can uh, see that on a device like Lumia 550, the browsing is quite fast. So we are on a Wi Fi now. We can easily test uh, the mobile data as well. So that, yeah, I mean, we can, uh, you can understand that both things are working fine. So let's quickly check the HTML5 score or 6 score with help of the mobile data. In all our hands-on demos, we are uh, usually now demoing both the Wi-Fi connectivity and mobile uh, I mean, data connectivity because many of our readers have pointed out that in their case it has uh, not it was not working fine. So now it helps us in uh, kind of confirming that okay the mobile data and the Wi-Fi is working fine on the devices. So as you can see that the browser works fine appreciably well. <clears throat> This is how uh, fast it can work on the mobile data, mobile connectivity. So let's go back to Wi-Fi. And it connects really well. So yeah, I'm Wi-Fi now. Now let's send you to the background. We can quickly check the gaming. We can open a couple of games. 
just to see how it all loads and how it behaves while uh, multitasking with games open in background. Let's send it to the background. We can open one more game just to understand how the gaming works like. Here is a Temple Run 2. It's an opt unoptimized game for Windows 10 mobile. I mean, when I say not optimized, it's like the Windows Phone 8.1 games which are not yet converted to Windows 10 mobile version or, or format. So <clears throat> unoptimized. So usually you will see that the games will run. They should not crash, etc. It should be fine. But uh, while resuming or while multitasking, they will not resume instantaneously. But then they should at least uh, should not crash your device. So that is the criteria. We will just check. So here we go. We will send it to the background. Now let us quickly check and try to resume the apps that we have sent to the background so one of them if you remember is camera so let's see how fast camera can resume and it resumes really fast near near instant we can check the browser And it also resumes so appreciably well so it's good we can now check the game so let's check the optimized game which is survey surfer and you can see how fast it resumes we can now check unoptimized game which is trample run true and as expected it's taking a bit of time but it should uh, resume actually so it does so that's good so you can see that the multitasking is good actually the apps they resume really instantly and uh, talking about uh, the games if an unoptimized games resume fast and they don't crash the store works fine you quickly check the Cortana okay so it's caps lock day <laughs> so whatever you do do with caps lock on So Cortana also uh, works fine. Well, let's quickly check how the setting navigation works here. So usually Redstone has got very good, very smooth and uh, fluid uh, setting navigation. So I, I think the same thing will happen here as well. So quickly we'll check one dot all and then we can go. So there is one area which we even highlighted on the build 14393.321 which is Bluetooth. So usually Bluetooth uh, may, may cause some issue when you try to connect your Bluetooth uh, uh, or your, your phone uh, to, to a car. So uh, with this build we have at least seen that if you try to connect device to device etc. It works quite appreciably well. There are like... Uh, uh, I mean that it, it discovers device very well and there are no crashes as such but uh, we will have to still see how it behaves in terms of when we connect it to the car
so here uh, I'll try to connect it to another phone and it has connected fairly well we will still uh, say that there are like chances to improve it so uh, I'm trying to connect it to another uh, Windows 10 mobile device and still you can see that it's taking a bit of time so hopefully uh, Microsoft can take that into account and work on make, making Bluetooth better. So not only this, I, we hope that the UI can be improved. We have said that many times. So maybe, uh, you know, now it's connected, it shows connected, but there may be like, there is no option to manually uh, discover the devices, which are Bluetooth enabled here and their Bluetooth is on. So there should be some kind of provision. Coming to the last thing that we'll talk about is the battery. So if you talk about the battery life, the battery life has been good on this build with one charge, one full charge. I have seen that the uh, device has lasted around 23 to 24 hours uh, with moderate to heavy uh, use. So when I say moderate to heavy use, lots of browsing and uh, lots of use of apps, but still has lasted like 23 to 24 hours, which seems to be a bit better than even on the build uh, 0 0.321, 1493.321. So with that we come to end of this uh, hands-on impressions or hands-on review so as we said the build is really good it certainly shows uh, you know i mean or it, i mean the battery life has improved over the build 1439 3.321 but if we talk about bluetooth still it does not impress it has to be faster the connection even you connect it to a windows 10 mobile device another windows 10 mobile device the connection takes time so it should be instantaneously connected and uh, as we said there are chances of, like fair amount of ui improvement can be done in case of bluetooth so with that we come to end of this video stay tuned thanks for watching